Welcome back to Texas Eats. Now, we're in New Braunfels, continuing our tour of authentic German cuisine in Central Texas at the Alpine Haas to see how they prepare their popular entree, the schnitzel. There you oh go. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Absolutely. You know what you're doing over here. Welcome back to Texas Eats. Joining us now is Jay Leeper, the chef out here at the Alpine House in New Braunfels. Thank you so much for having us in the kitchen. Glad you're here. Now, right in front of us, you guys have already prepared some of the most popular dishes you have here at the restaurant. And it's just ringing off the hook out here, y'all. So you're just gonna be here in phones while we're doing this. You also have two desserts right here as well. Can you talk to me about each dish and the desserts that you have here? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll start here with the traditional Wiener Schnitzel. Uh, it's got lemon, it's a lightly breaded cutlet. We have a potato salad, German style, served warm. We have one of our specialties right here. It's a rinder rouladen, rolled beef with pickle, mustard, salt, pepper. Dumplings right next to it. They're kind of like mashed potato, if you will, with some egg kind of bind them. The sauce that's on there, I mean, this is like a nice deep, rich colored sauce here. What's yeah, that? It's the uh, actual sauce from the cooking drippings from the roulade itself. So we turn that into a pan gravy, serve that with it. So a little, a little reduction sauce on top. That looks fantastic. This one in the front here, what's uh, going on with that one? This is the uh, Rom Schnitzel. This is a sour cream gravy. We use the same pan gravy from the roulade in to kind of make this sauce with uh, some sour cream. We'll be making that today. We got a spetzel on the side, which is a traditional German noodle made every day in house. Now, out of all these ones, which one's like the popular one? Which one's the one to get? Uh, probably the uh, raw schnitzel by far, um, it's the most unique, has a good flavor profile. And these recipes are actually, they're pretty old, right? Yeah, the owner's mother actually brought them over from, you know, there's a generational thing where she actually passed them down to him, he now passes them down to us and we all make them like he wants us to do every single day. You're gonna make this dish for us right now. And I got my gloves on, I got my apron on, so I'm ready to help out any way that I can. I don't want to get in the way though, so you let me know. What's the first thing we do to make this dish? Okay, first thing we're gonna do is get that gravy started. Okay. So if you want to get that saute pan with the sour cream, we're gonna come over here and okay. actually grab a ladle and a half worth of that, put it into that pan for me. All right, so this is what you were talking about, some of the, that pan, like some of that drippings, right? Yes, sir. Can I just get a cup of this to go? Just give me a straw. I'll just go right in. <laughs> I said, uh, put me to work, and you know what? They are putting me to work today. We're doing it. All right. We got our uh, pork cutlet right here. And you've already breaded it. What do you bread it with? Uh, it's uh, flour, egg wash, and breadcrumbs. So I'll tell you what, this is going to take a couple minutes here to get cooking. We're going to start going. We're going to get ready to flip it. I'm going to make sure my sauce doesn't burn over here, and we'll check back in in a second. All right, so now you see some bubbling on the outside. What do you look for before you flip it? You want about that in, half an inch of uh, liquid kind of soaking up some of that breadcrumb. That'll wow. give you an indication it's good to flip it. So if you want to go, we're gonna go for it? Yeah, do the honors. Me. All right, here we go. There you oh, go. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Absolutely. You know what you're doing over here. So everything is scratch made here, made to order. So when you come into dine, you know that all the food is super fresh. And that's really important, especially when you're trying some of this traditional German cuisine. All right, so we're gonna take this plate right here, and we're okay. gonna get our spitzel on the one half of it. All right, so these noodles, they've been boiled, and they're made fresh as well, and they got a little crispiness to them. Very small amount. Oh, small amount. Yeah, you don't want to get too crispy, otherwise it's, they're not that edible. What do you think, like right there? That'd be good, yeah. Okay, and then right here, is the schnitzel ready? Yeah, you can lay that right on top, kind of like shingle it on there. Yeah, perfect. Jay, thank you so much for showing us how you make this traditional German dish. You guys, Alpine Haas address on the screen. Come check them out when you're here for Worst Fest, even outside of Worst Fest when you're in New Braunfels. It is a great spot to stop in for dinner. Plus get dessert. It just looks delicious. And look how fork tender that is. You don't even need a knife. All right, cheers to you, sir. All right, that's the bite. Phenomenal. Absolutely delicious. Stay tuned. We got so much more coming here on Texas Eats, plus your chance to win two tickets to Frankfurt, Germany, and $500 by Condor Airlines. I'll tell you what, though, I'm going to take this to go, okay? Oh, yeah, Can I have it? Can I have that? Yeah, okay. For sure.